533 uh, Tefer public hearing. We'll turn it over to Madam Council. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If you'll note, what we're going to do is part A here. I'm going to hold what is called a TEFRA hearing, and then subsequent to that, you'll need to take a vote to address item B. Please be aware um, that we do have a speaker. Okay, thank you. And that will be part of what will need to be done through this TEFRA hearing. Okay. Um, and this, the purpose of this public hearing is to receive comments from the public concerning the plan of finance of the International Paper Company Project as advertised in the Pensacola News Journal on August 26, 2019. And I believe Mr. Tim Hamm, um, if you would please represent your, uh, yourself and who you are representing. My name is Tim Hamm. I'm with International Paper and Finance. I'm going to go through a series of questions with Mr. Hamm at this point. Could you please describe the project to be financed with the bonds? Yes, the bonds will be issued by the county and will be used to refinance the cost of the acquisition improvement, construction and installation of certain sewage and solid waste disposal facilities at the Pensacola Mill of International Paper Company by refunding the company's environmental improvement revenue bonds 2009 Series B the International Paper Company project. The mill is owned and operated by the company and is located at 375 Muskogee Road in Cantonment, Florida. How will the bond proceeds be used? The bond proceeds will be loaned to International Paper Company pursuant to a loan agreement between the company and the county and will be used to pay the cost of the refinancing of the project. What is the public purpose for the bond issue? The project, refinanced with proceeds from the bonds, makes a significant contribution to the public health and economic growth of the county, provides or preserves gainful employment, and serves a public purpose by protecting the environment and advancing the economic prosperity and health and safety and welfare of the state and its people. Will Escambia County be responsible for repaying the bonds? The bonds will expressly state that Escambia County, Florida is not liable to pay principal or interest on the bonds. And what is the maximum amount of bonds that will be issued? The bonds will not exceed $10 million. So the next thing we would do is take questions from any of the five commissioners or any questions for the speaker, and then subsequent to that we would get the speakers from the public. Commissioners, are there any questions? Uh, Commissioner Bagash? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, and you say the bond money was used to do construction. What, what, what exactly? I, I missed that. Uh, the bonds will be issued by the county and will be used to refinance the costs of the acquisition, improvement, construction, and installation of certain sewage and solid waste disposal facilities, the Pensacola. So we're just refinancing those things? That's that correct. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Okay, um, if you'll please call whoever the public speakers are who have signed up to speak on this item. Thank you, Madam Council. Ms. Margaret Hofstetter. Margaret Hofstetter, 328 East Sunset Avenue. Um, this is a very peculiar situation where a $34 billion corporation is requesting that our county um, provide a $10 million up to a $10 million bond for them to refinance, I guess, another bond. This is, um, this is something I hope you gentlemen will think long and hard about because of the environmental impact and degradation that has been occurring over the years and is occurring because of international paper. Um, August 15th, when this was first heard, I guess this is the second hearing on this bond proposal requiring two hearings, um, another person, well, it was, it was, uh, we spoke on it August 15th as well. To schedule it, yes ma'am. Okay. And um, another uh, person mentioned that the Forbes report showed uh, pollution in the nation and mentioned that our county, Escambia County is ranked, according to this Forbes report, out of over 3,000 counties in the United States. As do you remember what number we were in pollution? 11th. 11th most 
polluted in the United States, Escambia County, Florida, out of over 3,000. And the fault appears to lie at the feet of international paper, primarily. So gentlemen, there is no reason financially they have $34 billion to go this route, and I hope that uh, you will think uh, long and hard about such welfare, corporate welfare, in the future. Thank you, Ms. Hofstetter. <laughs> Chips, so in our air monitoring and water monitoring, uh, have we found any violations from IP? Uh, are, are we monitoring that? I mean, Commissioner, we, we are monitoring uh, water quality water quality in Eleven Mile Creek and also Perdido Bay, uh, and we haven't had any violations in in that waterway. In, in the history of it, you've never had a violation. No, since we've been monitoring over the last five years. Over the last five years. Yes, sir. What are we want? Are we doing air quality control as well? Um, DEP has a uh, monitor set up. There is one at Ellison Industrial Park that, that monitors continuously around the clock, and that monitors the PM 2.5, the particulate matter, uh, and they, they have all of that data also. So we hadn't had any violations? No, sir. To your knowledge. Are there any more discussion? The Chair, I entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move the item A and B in the Second. affirmative. That passes five in favor.